Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging around slightly flat to positive territory, but pulling back from the highs we saw earlier in the day. Right now, you have the S&Ps up six points, trading at 29.98. We get the Dow Jones up 20 points, trading at 27,021. NASDAQ up 26 points, trading at 81.50. Gold catching a little bit of a bid. Gold up $4.70 at 14.9870. Notes and bonds, a little bit of higher price on doing lower yield. The 10-year up two ticks. 13001 the 30 year up 8 ticks at 16017 and the dollar index with some weakness dollar index negative 408 ticks at 97596 that dollar weakness having to do a little bit with some euro strength on the potential of an EU Brexit deal we'll start things off let's jump over to the charts we'll start it off with the indices there's your Dow 30 futures December contract currently trading 26979 as i said pulling back a bit from where we were in the upper level of about 27,070. You're talking about almost 100 Dow points from that high. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar chart action, trading at 79.48. NASDAQ 100 was up there at a high of about 79.91. So you're talking about 40 points off the high. S&P's 29.98 actually made it to a high intraday this morning at 10.15 of 3,007. Crude oil, a little bit of volatility, quite a build in crude. 11 a.m., we get the crude build this morning. That number coming in at a build of 9-plus million barrels. Quite a build in oil, but nonetheless, the oil market shaking it off. Currently right where we were before that inventory number at 53.16. There's your gold contract catching a bid. was actually above 1,500 briefly within the last hour. You got gold trading at 1,498.55, and the euro-U.S. dollar trading at 111.27. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, checking in on some of the movers and shakers. Netflix, with their earnings last night, was up almost 8 to 10%. We were up there at 318 last night, right after the numbers came out. But man, oh man, you approached the opening bell. Netflix actually was trading at 288 at one point. That's barely over where it closed at last night, still up about 4%. On the flip side, IBM hurting today down 6%, and Morgan Stanley out with their earnings as the banks delivered this earnings season to kick things off. Morgan Stanley up about 25 Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. We'll be right back.